Hello everyone, this is Varsha and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So once again, we are here with you all to discuss the success story of one more achiever of our and this time we have with us Mr. Sahil Nayar. So Mr. Sahil Nayar as the COO for Swiss Beauty, a decade old color cosmetic brand is responsible for enabling revenue growth, market share leadership, complete brand refresh including a new brand strategy whilst also ensuring to accelerate the current 300 CR business to a 500 CR as an immediate milestone and a larger vision to a 1000 CR powerhouse. Sahil Nayar has encountered a successful trajectory in both his personal and professional life. He is the possessor of many renowned accolades. These include the Nika Femina Awards, Golden Glory Awards, Cosmopolitan Beauty Awards and Vogue Beauty Awards. But before we actually start the conversation with him, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hi, Mr. Sahil, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you doing, Varsha? All good, all good. Thank you so very much for asking. So before we actually start our conversation, I really want to know from you that as per you, what is the most important thing in beauty personal care business? So I think a lot of people will know this, but I still want to re-emphasize and I can't re-emphasize more on the fact that how important is product. I think in beauty and personal care, all other metrics, everything else, uh, comes only after the, the product is perfect. So I think the very age old formula of the four P's of, you know, the price, the promotion, the place, but before all of that, a single most important thing is your product. Absolutely, sir. So now, uh, as we are moving ahead with this, I really want to know that, you know, every industry have their own set of challenges with them. So as per you, what challenges you feel that this category faces? So I think um, the challenges are two, and I think that's there in a lot of categories, slightly more in our category. Uh, one, I think there are a lot of players, uh, but that's not the challenge, right? If there are more players, there is more business. But the concern lies is that, um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand the depth of what they are doing. They only understand the width. They have a great idea, but they don't have the execution. So which, lead, which is leading to a lot of brands, which is leading to a lot of people in this category, who may not really understand the pulse and the DNA of the product they are working in or the category they are working in. Uh, only because an ABC is doing it, they also kind of jump onto the bandwagon, um, which is actually just making a lot of, creates a lot of noise, it creates a lot of clutter. So I think that's, that is that is one, one you know, large primary uh, challenge, which I think this category is, uh, is facing, which I want to highlight, yeah. Right. So now talking about your company, which is Swiss Beauty, uh, what sort of products are you people delivering in the market? So if you can please brief us a bit about those. Sure. So Swiss Beauty actually is almost a nine and a half year, 10 year old brand. Um, it's it's as the name suggests, everything got to do with beauty has got to do with Swiss. Um, the reason the name is Swiss Beauty is because trying to aspire to be, you know, at the quality of, of Swiss standards. And uh, which is why I said in the initial phase also that product is the most important. So I think um, as a beauty brand, uh, our biggest strength is color cosmetics. I think we are very, very strong in color cosmetics, uh, made be face products, made be eyes, lips, nails, very, very large portfolio of almost 1500 SQs across 400 cities, 8000 retailers. But biggest strength for us is color cosmetics. Um, having said that, we have branched out um, into skin because we understand the consumer, we understand product. So I think now the idea is to kind of give that consumer the same quality of product in more categories 
than just color cosmetics. Amazing, Mr. Sahil. So now moving ahead and talking about the future, uh, what further plans are you having for the company or for yourself in the upcoming years? So if you can please share a bit of those plans with us as well. Um, so I think if I speak um, speak personally, um, I don't have much to say because I think if um, my brand and my company uh, meets the success milestones which it has set itself out to do um it's a personal success for me as well so i think i'll just speak about the company and the organization i think for uh, for us at swiss beauty what's um, what's very important as an immediate milestone is uh, to reach to more retail doors we are targeting 35000 retail outlets um over the next uh, over the next few years we are looking at reaching out to a lot more be beauty advisor doors uh, so there's a slight pre premiumization of the brand, um, which is there uh, for us to do. Um, third, and the most important for any brand, for any business, is, um, is turnover. So we're hoping to raise 500 crores um, very, very quickly. And I think the next immediate milestone for us is, is to be a 500 crore brand in the color cosmetics and skincare industry. Lovely. And I wish you all the success for all these plans of yours as well. Uh, so now moving ahead, uh, now comes the question which I, you know, personally love to ask our awardees and that is, uh, what are your feelings on winning this Indian Achievers Award for yourself? Since the name is Indian Achievers, so I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leave one emotion about which is a sense of achievement. So I think um, that leaving that aside, I think there's a sense of, um, there's a sense which is a, of, a, of a very satisfying um, experience uh, and uh, gratitude. Uh, very, very important because I think when for anyone who wins, you know, something which is so prized um, as this, I think it becomes um, uh, extremely important to be to be very grateful and uh, also a sense of pride that one has been able to, uh, for the last n number of years, contribute meaningfully for a forum like Indian Achievers Forum for 23 years. You guys have been doing these awards to actually recognize, you know, me as an individual for my excellence in beauty and personal care. So yeah, I think satisfying, grateful and proud. Yeah. Lovely and, I, and you are a truly achiever, I must say, sir. So uh, now moving ahead and uh, as we have discussed about your professional role and also the upcoming plans that you are having, uh, tell us a bit about your social contribution to as in the CSR activities that you are involved in. Please. Um, so this actually, actually I'm, 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 I'm going to speak at a slightly more macro level because um, I think social responsibility is something which is very large. Um, so and it also includes a slightly, um, um, it also includes sustainability for us as, you know, as an individual um, and as a company. So at a macro level, if I speak, maybe our gifting options, maybe our packaging options, uh, moving a lot away from plastic, single use plastic, moving a lot towards recyclable um, um, items, even in my personal life, whatever I use, whatever I gift, uh, maybe Diwali, maybe any 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 large announcements which you know go into numbers of hundreds and thousands. We give plants, we give things which are recyclable, reusable. Um, so I think that is one. Um, second, there's a lot of personal charity which is involved at both levels at the organization and as personal, uh, maybe for the especially abled uh, children, and uh, maybe for. Even the, uh, I don't want to use the word handicaps, I think I'll leave that as especially able. So I think these are the two places where there is a, where there is a strong focus uh, for us. Also, when we are, uh, we are purchasing, procuring, we try and purchase and procure from, from the local artisans, uh, because I think that also really helps uh, promote that. So wherever there is a requirement, we don't try and go to the largest vendor or the biggest manufacturer. We do try and go out and reach out to a local local artisans uh, in that aspect. Right. So now before concluding our lovely session, uh, what message or mantra you would like to give to our younger generation to become successful in their careers? Okay. Um, I think I'll give, I'll give two. Um, one since you asked and one is free advice for everyone. Uh, one, um, please remember people, uh, your team, uh, maybe the people you work with, maybe the people you study with, they are actually the people you will grow with. Um, competition is is good. Uh, it's not bad. Having said that, stepping on anyone to get somewhere is not the best route to take uh, because you'll be surprised that you might reach. It's, it is like a snakes and ladder. You might reach here stepping on somebody. The other person might reach here tomorrow. 
right so i mean if you if you if you decide to grow together i think it's a it's a it's a lot more um fruitful journey uh, please focus on the journey don't just take shortcuts there are no shortcuts to success and there is nothing nothing succeeds as success so um i wish the, the young entrepreneurs young people who are coming into the industry don't take shortcuts the shortcuts are not going to work they might work for a very short period of time my second advice is going to be hustle and the reason i say that is your hustle is yours and it's the only thing which is only and only yours so if it means there are some you know long hours it might mean you are doubling up on jobs it might mean you're taking weekend classes it's something you are doing for yourself so i don't think you should fear uh hustling and don't fear failing because both these things is what's going to get you right to the top lovely piece of advice i must say mr sahil so uh, thank you so very much for joining with us today it was pleasure talking to you and uh, i wish you all the success for all your future endeavors as well and may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing thank you so very much for your time thank you thanks varsha take care bye bye everyone